Hello everyone. Uh, this is my presentation on Smart Aquarium made by me, Vihar Jevalla, as an IoT project for New Society. So the agenda for this uh, presentation is I'll be talking you through the uh, problem statement for my project, the implementation, the showcase that is a demo of the, a video demo of the project, and uh, the code for the project. So the problem statement. Fishkeeping is an hobby that uh, people of all ages enjoy uh, and right now everyone keeps their fishes in lots of places from their homes to their offices to their desk usually as a decoration or as a hobby. But uh, along with this uh, the another problem that comes with the uh, fishkeeping is the maintenance of these fishes because it is a tedious process which requires a lot of monitoring which uh, includes uh, temperature, uh, making sure the water level is uh, at the right amount and making sure the fishes are fed on time. All of this are done manually or require some really costly devices. So, uh, so let's see how do we circumvent that. So the proposed solution. Uh, we, I propose a, a, a fish tank monitoring solution uh, using an Arduino and a Raspberry Pi which should be able to uh, monitor the temperature and if it goes, if it's an abnormal temperature, assuming it's 30, a bit too high than 30, a bit too length than 30, then a LED blinks or you get a notification saying something has gone wrong. And uh, a water level monitoring which also uh, is similar to the temperature and if it's not optimal, the same a notification is sent or um, the LEDs in the uh, aquarium should start blinking. Similarly to the uh, fishes um, are really sensitive to light. So we need to make sure they are in the optimum brightness too. So that is why uh, we need an, a light sensor and uh, the feeding of the fishes. We need to make sure the feeding is regular and constant. We need to make sure that there is no changes in the, you know, making sure that changes in the time interval of the feeding. So all of this um, is what we are trying to solve. So this is the implementation. Uh, the um, the big the big tools used are the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino Uno, along with uh, the sensors which are required, which include uh, the water level indicator, a uh, temperature sensor, an LDR, and a servo which is used for feeding. All of this um, is remotely controlled by the Raspberry Pi, um, which makes sure that it collects the data from all of the uh, these uh, indicators and. Uh, groups them, uh, stores them and tells if there's something abnormal with it. So here's a small showcase or a demo of the project. So as you can see here, the server moving is for so that the what the, the small hole in the feeder will make sure the 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 fish food is dropped into the bowl. And here are the connections, all connected to the Raspberry Pi, to the Arduino and uh, a small breadboard having all the uh, all the uh, circuitry. As you can see, the LDR is right there, an LED to tell if the LDR is uh, not functioning right. I mean, the light is not an uh, optimal brightness and um, the feeder which turns uh, and makes sure the fish is fed, a small hole below will make sure the fish is fed. Uh, light, uh, light to make sure if the uh, if the water level indicator is uh, not, not working properly and if I have missed it properly, there's a temperature sensor right behind there. Not sure if it is seen clearly, right behind there, the wire there. That will make sure the temperature of the um, the temperature of the fish tank is right. That looks like this, yeah. That was the uh, temperature sensor. And right now, uh, in the Arduino, just you can see the values. But uh, once you go onto the Raspberry Pi, we can uh, manipulate that data to our uh, not manipulate store and make sure the data is rightly uh, maintained. Yeah. So that was this. So next slide. Uh -huh. So as you can see, the uh, Python uh, code makes sure that the data is the data which you take from the Arduino is stored in a small Excel sheet. And uh, at the end of the day or the month, based on the monitoring type, it will send this data as a notification. Notification ideally at the end of the day, and then uh, data stats at the end of the month. All of this is done using the Python module in uh, using Python in Raspberry Pi. So the code. The three. Uh, separate codes that had to be written. One for the Arduino to make sure all the sensors are, uh, are working and the data is stored and uh, written to the and is displayed in the serial monitor. Uh, that's that includes the temperature sensor, the water level sensor, the feeding, the feeder, which makes sure it is fed at uh, particular intervals of time, which can be modified. And uh, light is the LDR, that is a light brightness values, 
and yeah and the leds will should light up if maybe the temperature is greater than 30 or less than 30 or the ldr values are um, are not are not right or are any other abnormalities in the uh, in the sensors and all these tasks are uh, delayed uh, so that they run every five minutes because we don't need them to run every second five minutes for each task and the feeder uh, as said maybe every one hour or every three hours uh, depending on the fish type and the python code so python code will make sure that all this uh, Python code will make sure all this data is uh, properly stored in an Excel file as we saw before that is all the uh, Excel part we saw then uh, it will send a notification at the end of the day uh, which has the mean data of all of them so mean temperature of the day or mean uh, you know brightness to make sure you can monitor the fish properly and uh, and if there are any faulty readings if the temperature is too high suddenly it's going to 45 maybe we go there and check and if you have a, a filtration system or a, a air system you can make sure you can cool down the entire aquarium and an email like said to uh, all the data in the excel is sent to the user at the end of the month so for the notification to be sent the if triple t was used and yeah that is the only reason the if triple t module exists here okay so that was the entire project um, thank you and if you have any doubts you can contact me on linkedin or my email thank you